I'm so Back ill again. FYI. So what? So ill. A week of it. Soldiering on. We've all got problems, Dave. So <laughs> topics. Uh, I also need. I also need a book recommendation from you. I've just finished Dave Grohl's oh, story. Oh, yeah, I've nice. just downloaded a book today, which I heard was a great recommendation. Mm -hmm. What's it called? If anything I've you recommend, some, I will. I will literally. I just want one. Just give me one now, and I'll get it. I'll get it. Because I've got my credit, my audible credit. I've got an audible gap. Uh, I just I need. Where the camera is. So I just uh, need. I've downloaded I've got Think, think Again by Adam Grant. What's a quick? brief blurb uh, I mean I've personally not read it but they were talking about it and it's all about like who's they on a podcast I was listening to which them. podcast um if it's like it's some of the ones yeah no it was the food medic how to become a better communicator okay have you been You're through the, the, that. the what? <laughs> have you done the infinite game yet no um, Simon Sinek I'm taking a break from okay so we've then got the everything store which is the Amazon, the Amazon one. one. Is that is... mentioned the Amazon flywheel I stuff? Because I might have already no. touched on that. No, no. The it's, everything store. It's the everything store. So this is more around Jeff Bezos and kind of more like his life. Right, done. Um, that's, that's what I'll be on then. It's not very long, so it's quite all right. Thanks. Yeah. That's the recommendation. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Poor Molly. Um, the other one, the laws of human... It's all about challenging your perception of things that you you believe and then you're changing your opinion on stuff as you get older with more information the, the what what will sell you ignoring all that <laughs> exactly. what will sell you? <laughs> they, were, they were just words what will sell you on that one is it mentions Dyson in it so it? Yeah, Done. this is all right. about Dyson Done. and Dyson comes out so got the everything the store yeah perfect um, the other one's laws of human nature is another one halfway through and longevity paradox which is another one about Do you know we started through. recording yeah I know but I just wanted a book recommendation well, well people, can, people can join in you're people welcome. can join in Part Reptile by Dan Hardy. <laughs> Great book. What's that about? I'll let you Google it. It's Part Reptile. Part Give us a brief sum nope. summary. Okay. <laughs> the, anyway. I mean, come on, even my recommendation was better than that. Yeah, it was actually, because it's more information. Thank you. Dave, Dave Roll's book was brilliant. My last book recommendation to you was one of the best books you read last year. Uh, yeah, it was actually. Road Race was brilliant. Really enjoyed that one. Oh, emotional roller coaster ride that was. Anyway, thank you, Danny. Thanks. I will, I'm going to listen to that one. So should we go on Give to the, the summary next week? The topics. Yeah, sure. Yeah, cool. Thanks. <laughs> Price, as always. New Merchant of the Month. We'll come on to later. Bukele on the offense. Coinbase reveals its plans to bypass SEC. UK Treasury looking for a headed central bank digital currency. Blockstream raising money. Tesla not selling Bitcoin. Ordinal Theory, as we'll come on to. Uh, and Bitcoin trading at 60% premium in Nigeria. Nice. I saw this morning that was a, it was 100% premium. We'll come back to that. Oh. Okay. <laughs> it's 100% premium. Yeah. How exciting. Right. Right. Price. Um, come on, guys. High energy. No. Tw no. 22,865. Nice. Floating around that 23 for a while. Who's, I thought someone was... Did you put it on that it's going to break? I'm not sleeping until 25. No. I read no, that, that, that didn't was, sleep. Like, <laughs> 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 I read that on Twitter somewhere. I was like, what? Well, that's no, ridiculous. it was. That no, was... I said 24 was incoming because it was literally like 23 9 something. Are you just waiting on the GIF? Are we playing like GIF? I've got it. I've got it. <laughs> so it's like it's a race between. We're back on the roller coaster. The race between who can publish it first. Board. Oh, yeah. you could write a little Python bot. Now you're learning Python. Oh, yeah. Auto tweet the GIF. Oh, my days. That's the price as soon as it ticks over it. That's a good shout. You would be the first then. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. That'll never beat me. Okay. As long yeah. as you wire into the correct exchange, it goes mm -hmm. over the price. Yeah, true. This Nigerian one that has the premium. Bitcoin <laughs> yeah. 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 at 50k with a roller coaster. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah uh, move on, be Kelly. Well, yeah. I, so he put a he put a thread out on Twitter. Mm. I'm sure you all read it. Like of all the FUD news that had been around the volcano bomb bonds, and that how they're going to default on their loan. And this was from like Wall Street Journal, New York Times, Bloomberg, all saying that this is going to be a car crash in terms of economics for El Salvador. Because mm -hmm. um, their payment was due, wasn't it? Yeah, they, they yeah. thought that this, this isn't going to work. And then he, he came back like quoting all these articles um, around the time, because he also paid off that 800 million pounds. So now they look like they paid it, plus the interest mm -hmm. and the volcano bonds is working out for them. So was, Although they haven't started the volcano bonds, have they not? Uh, no, but it's no. it's get, like there's regulatory steps that it's going through. So passing. So it's every, not the volcano bonds that's allowed them to pay this off. No, it's it's. I it partly is Bitcoin investment, maybe. Well, no, because Bitcoin's gone kind of down. I, in I think the I assume it's the tourism. Bitcoin, yeah, uh, no, tourism, GDP's yeah, increased. Probably yeah, help towards it. I don't know. I've not seen details yeah. of 
how that's been paid off. But he's paid it off. And so now he's, he's fought back by just quoting all these articles and yeah. said it was It failed. was good. It was a good thread. Yeah. I enjoyed it. It's just highlighting f- funny stuff that doesn't probably get highlighted enough. It's good for a president to do that, I think, as well. For mm-hmm. uh, it's El Salvador, fair enough. It's and, weird for a president to do it. It's you not weird. Think? You could imagine someone like Donald Trump doing it and uh, on, yeah, on Twitter could, and yeah, stuff. I suppose. Mm-hmm. You can't imagine... Like because that's because he but had that, so again, much power. Like comparing weird with weird because yeah. that's a guy that got thrown off Twitter. Yeah, <laughs> as a president. president. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, but whereas Bukele is a bit more seemingly down to earth. Yeah, mm-hmm. than, but than I think Trump. it's almost portrayed as you know out there left field, fringy. If you do do this sort of stuff because you're not fitting in with the normal how a normal yeah. president behaves, so like to the most people that might look odd. Mm. And that. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. I think, I think it's kind of not normal, I guess, for a president to buy Bitcoin in the first place. I think yeah. it's always been against mm-hmm. the norm. True. Like him. He's yeah, he's, yeah, he's operating. He's profile yeah. picture to laser eyes. He's cool. Mm. Cool guy. I think it's it's what he's doing, what he thinks is best for the country. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's actually doing it. Oh Does it gosh. also highlight the, the, like the IMF debt cycle? I think that Alex Gladstein highlighted a few months ago, if you pick up on that, that he's writing a new book about, I think. He's mm-hmm. writing a new book about it in terms of IMF keep giving out loans to countries and the, like to service these loans is absolutely astronomical interest charges. And I think El Salvador's booked the trend and broken the mold yeah. in terms of there's an alternative out there where you're not straddling your country with ongoing increasing debt. Mm-hmm. And that's quite nice that, you know, this thing mm-hmm. that we're striving and shining yeah, and advocating for can do yeah. that. Because what the IMF were trying to do is refinancing to pay off this yeah, upcoming which, debt. Well, yeah. They've managed to pay it off. Yeah. It's which just, they do with all of the countries yeah. to keep control well, of the power. endless cycle of just refinancing yeah. and more and more debt. It's like there's no escape, but now that there is. Mm-hmm. There has been for El Salvador, yeah. whether there will yeah. be for the US and the and UK. But Kelly, is, I think it's he's operating on a 96% approval rating, so yeah. people which is love him. Incredible, which is, isn't yeah. it? But do we believe that? I mean, we can't... I have my doubts, but then I've seen, like, on the street videos of people asking what they think of Bukele, and it's, it does seem to be is all positive. Joe? Yeah, it, Joe's, yeah. 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 And a few I think others. there's been a few others I've but seen. That surprised me at how positive, because yeah. I always thought... Can't, yeah, why does he always believe. interview happy people? He's just... I don't know happy what he... Like, he just yeah. asks questions, well, smiling, and I, then people just smile back. But he I could think, be interviewing yeah. anyone. We've had this He's a happy guy. You smile at people, people smile back. Yeah. You wouldn't know. Yeah, we don't smile at people. Yeah, we have had that. You walk past them in the street and smile. Yeah, they smile back. Maybe just Joe's incredibly friendly. But he... And I think we can... Because we know him as well, you can trust that he's going and just spot checking random people on the street and asking so videos like that are really really mm-hmm. useful for the outside actually world. yeah but there's a bias there isn't there because if you who you, if you look at me or look at molly who you're going to go interview yeah there is a yeah. molly there <laughs> every day's perfect yeah. Yeah. Miserable. or me just scowling at every joe walks yeah. Past yeah. The i think joe will go for some of the miserable ones as well because no. he, he likes a He's challenge got, no. come on you wouldn't make the edit would it yeah, no, I think some. Yeah, some of them have. Have you not seen? Some no, it wouldn't make the effort. Yeah, there'll like, be like just a going, glimmer of hope. Giving him the beat. smile right at the end. You definitely make the edit. He has done some, I think, where he's asked them and they've just like looked mm. at him and walked off. You, you are Maybe right. There, there is a built-in bias. I think yeah. Exit polls are notorious for that. Of like people actually stop and answer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like on the streets but where he stops. Exit polls are incredibly accurate. accurate. Dave, then do you? If there's a natural bias towards people who smile, do you not like? Why would I want a bit someone to approach me and ask me questions? No, but yeah, just, no. just in general, are you not more drawn to people who are happier? Because, like, if... No, no I said this before, not, like, no. they're hiding something. Yeah. There's what? something deep-seated <laughs> yeah. in, in the one smiling, they're not allowed to smile. <laughs> if they're smiling, they're not aware of something. Because, like, why would you be smiling? <laughs> anyway, I'm drinking Lensip at the moment. That buzzing, I can hear the, is the buzzing still going through the mics? Isn't it? What buzzing? No, but, no, but it's the... Um, is it that buzzing? itself? Okay. Here we go. Directed. I it's no not as bad as the drilling. Directed, I can hear it. Director Danny. I hear no buzz. No, because I can He's hear it now. He's not happy with the sound it. quality. No, Mikey was asking before. I think it's, it's more of a buzz than like a fan going. I don't think that'll get picked up I though. I can hear that. Uh, no, it was. That's what Mikey was just flagging before. It, oh, it was, was it? There was a buzz noise. Who was he flagging it to? Me, when we were preparing like, and helping sort this place out. While, oh, right. while you were sat over there, moaning outside. <laughs> you know. Drinking your lamb sip. Yeah. Are you on lamb sip? Yeah, man. Wow. I'm proper dying. Wow. You've been ill for like oh two months God. now. I think he just like, no, they're blaming this on Francis. Francis came to the office. He was off like sick. Last week? Yeah, like two weeks ago. Yeah. yeah, he was ill for ages. Just sat next to him. Some sort of super bug. Mm. I put it down to your mm. cup of soup. There's absolutely no nutritional value. 
That's a good point. Since diet. since you've been having the cup of soups, mm-hmm. you've been ill. There is some correlations, not causation. Mm-hmm. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. What nutrition is in there? Absolutely fuck all. No, there is because there must be something because it's like ninety six calories. <laughs> there's ninety six calories, nice calories, calories of nutrition. <laughs> the rehydrated there's, carrot, the there's, one bit. There's gonna be nothing. Mm. It's the best bit of carrot, the rehydrated <laughs> part. <laughs> Is that all right now? Sorry, Mikey. That's, that's well, different. no different. Oh, uh, okay. We tried. We tried. We tried. It's just slightly more awkward to control because it's on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Danny. We tried. Yeah. I just move it back. Right. So. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> well, yeah, I was just gonna. I was gonna bring up going back to but Kelly. The it's the impending uh, elections at twenty twenty four. Who is it? Where he wants to re-elect. He wants to be eligible to be re-elected. Oh, but oh, he's he changed the law, has he? Yeah. Too? Oh, no. So that's upcoming next year. No, that's always a bad sign for me. Yeah. Like, if, but aside, if he has 96% approval rating. But it shouldn't... It, it, it should, should be, it should be some, the party yeah, that's got yeah, the approval rating. Party, yeah, yeah. So this has to be a successor. Yeah. He's, they, should, they should just have a leadership contest. No, I and, agree, yeah. So oh, that's no, you don't want him like voting in our state no. longer. But if like, he, Putin's great for <clears> that. But if he's got 96% approval, then surely whoever he recommends to come in and take over, people are going to probably... Mm. Yeah, no, that's... Uh, that's but that's not his plan. His plan is to... Is to try just, and change yeah, it to carry on run himself. You just yeah. want a nice, you know, non-biased election. Mm. Nice, properly conducted. Please. <laughs> <That's all laughs> please. <we have. laughs> please. Yeah. Well, it seems like you said please. Yeah, mm. we, we can do that. Yeah. So Coinbase. Sorry. Scumbag Coinbase, is that what we're talking about? Yeah, wow. they're, they're getting oh. worried about the oh, they are. the on. securities they're listing illegally, aren't they? Yeah. And your man is mm-hmm. becoming big, bigger and bigger, shouting more and more about Bitcoin, is he not? All of a sudden, mm. surprise, surprise, he does this every cycle. Yeah, so how Brian, um, like making it look like he's a Bitcoin advocate. Oh yeah, I mean, he's changed his profile name and everything. He's just shouting about Bitcoin all the time now. Yeah, so they have to be worried because the um, Ripple. I think in June there'll be m- more coming out about the Ripple SEC case, and th- th- obviously that could be deemed to be a security, and that puts everything bar Bitcoin at risk of being mm. listed as a security illegally. So every exchange that listing all these illegal securities is then in big trouble, especially if their business model is. Um, it's based off that, based yeah. on it yeah. mm-hmm. so then you have to think oh, okay so what steps can they take and quite, I think Coinbase is, um, are looking at like a brokerage model where they would then someone with the appropriate licenses or would list the appropriate um, shit coins and then they would get bro- broker through that mm-hmm. yeah. rather than holding themselves to try and get around it I so would like, imagine they're like mm-hmm. a Robin Hood yeah Robin Hood exactly like yeah, that license. yeah which I think that's what you'd have to do yeah Mm-hmm. Um, which is probably Robin Hood and that'll be pushing for this yeah because then it means that they've got not monopoly as such but they've got massive first mover advantage for, for this at the minute but then I'd be worried about like what are the infrastructures for some of these altcoins <laughs> um, in terms of like who's custodying them and holding them at these, this point what? yeah so the likes of BitGo and Fireblocks and things that'll be interesting to see because if they're interacting and transacting with a lot of these that are then deemed securities are do Bit do Bitgo need a securities license? Yeah. And mm-hmm. then all of a sudden that half of, if not what, 70% maybe the industry is running on, and probably more, is running on Bitgo, Fireblocks, custodial um, solutions. Well, you think it's that high in terms of the, the, probably the old coins? Yeah, thinking about it, I'm thinking it through now out of my head. I can probably only think of a handful that actually do their own infrastructure. Yeah. And that's Bitfinex, ourselves, River, Unchained. Does anyone like, does pull? anyone self custody any of these altcoins? Right, I do, I don't really get involved with altcoins at all and look at them, and so I don't know. Well, any yeah, that's much the whole about ledgers thing, isn't it? Um, mm. Oh, self custody. And then they brought out the new stacks one. Oh yeah, you so you can, can't you? Yeah, I was just wondering. If... Mm. So I think all of these other altcoin exchanges out there, and all the even the the check out the payment gateway ones that are doing like a million altcoins yeah. and stuff. They all use BitGo, Firebox or one of them alternatives. They're not, they don't have their own infrastructure. So it will be then down to BitGo's. Hypothetically, do you think if, get licenses. if finally the SEC and the judgment is against Ripple, do you think you'll see a bit of a fire sale on the alts and probably a push into mm-hmm. Bitcoin? Uh, yeah, in my head, yeah. it makes sense because mm. well, I mean, yeah, because you'd have to get out as quick as you can yeah. before people delist them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's going to be the hard part. 
and that the quickest way like, specifically in Binance probably just go straight to Bitcoin I'd right? be interested to know how many retail investors in Ripple are aware of what's going on oh definitely not mm, yeah. no idea yeah. so they won't and I mentioned before about you know, you know shareholders yeah. of Ripple that don't yeah. really know too much about what's going on and they're not paying that much attention Yeah. Um, so the, the general retail audience yeah. like just own a few XRP no clue yeah so no I think there's a pivot point in June I think this year in terms of how that hearing is going yeah. we are in our bubble I think, mm -hmm. for our industry and the outside world have no idea. Um, we just met with someone before who like as knows ab as much about Bitcoin as is read in the media and that's mm -hmm. it. And they know n mm. nothing wow. about um, Bitcoin itself or anything. Yeah. Um, but there's still so many people out there that are in that same scenario. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they don't care to, to learn about it, I guess. No. For, for the most part, it doesn't affect them at the minute. No. But that's, that my point is, yeah, if something there was a big sell-off, the retail investors will always be the last ones to sell because they're just yeah. not in the bubble. Yeah, probably. And they'll always be worse off at that point. It's a shame, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Anyway. Uh, so, yeah, it's certainly interesting. Um, this one's hilarious. <laughs> I'll be the judge. <laughs> oh, you're going to like this one. UK Treasury listing the new job oh, for <laughs> head of central. I for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <me> too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was just like looking at the job spec. It's just like attend an awful lot of committees. Yeah, yeah. Know, committees. But it's to research almost, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But I, I think it was insulting. Um, with the salary range was was it up to sixty k? Was it just over? 60K? Yeah, but they're all banded in government over there. Yeah, it's it? government banded, but the, because it's government banded as well. But what that is, you're saying they think it's digital currency for the country is going to be like the the currency that the whole country uses and the system that everybody uses for their financial needs is going to run off this product or infrastructure that this guy getting paid 60k oh. a year is going to head up when, and drive forwards they're going to get a jobs worth that. No, well when i applied for it i thought that's not about the money danny yeah but so it's about the direction of the, the, the uk it's okay. about the impact you can be made lots of How civil servants you? aren't about the money it's about actually giving something back to the country and so maybe you should consider somebody that. going into that <laughs> the, the, you if you want they're going to want a tech person realistically if it's going to be a, a digital currency and an infrastructure what? built out yeah i couldn't get out of specific tech details because i was looking at well there isn't any oh, the yeah exactly that's, that's this, this is to go in and figure it out but, but you're going to get somebody that you, if you want a good does, does that guy have to know python a good tech guy that's <laughs> well at least come on face, just html that's it job done it has to be great um, at renders but <laughs> you're in is that what he's putting in cv <laughs> that's the first thing on my cv yeah. did you make them a special render yeah um but the head of a country's digital currency and that salary is it seemingly, if you're in London, because it's going to be, this is, I assume, a role in London. Yeah. That's a low salary for a tech role in London, probably, for what that is in that position, heading up a whole country's financial infrastructure. I know, but it's, a, it's a working alongside a lot of other roles that were, like, within... For the bank, because the Bank of England, a lot of cryptocurrency heads have now been oh, in place, isn't there? So this yeah, is, like, one aspect of it. This yeah. isn't the mm. complete head of all... Direction, like it's well, he's the, the head of central bank digital currency. It's not the governor of the Bank of England. No, but he's the head of central bank digital currency. Yeah. So he's heading up that whole project, that infrastructure of what that is, mm -hmm. to get somebody good that can come in and do that for a whole country really? of one of the like, you know, biggest GDP countries in the world. Yeah. Um, but if you're a government, you're in your in you're, and like, this is almost like a research project. So it's it kind of shows the weight they give it in terms of, mm. of, of which is of low direction, which yeah, is yeah, low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah that's the point they're, that's they're the not they're not bringing us. in somebody that's going to come in and set the world no, that's my they're going to bring somebody in <laughs> yeah he'll come in be a jobs worth or ideally it'd be someone that comes into bitcoin and goes in no, that's, right, yeah. exactly that's, that's can i count mm -hmm. on you on a good reference yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> but I haven't applied, I haven't applied as well. <laughs> I'll give you a good reference. <laughs> to be fair, I imagine they're going to get so many dick. joke applications <laughs> getting sent in. Take, take well. the jobs together. Yeah, they've already had 100. <laughs> yeah. They've only had 122. It shows you on LinkedIn how many applicants have had apply. 122. I mean, that's via That's LinkedIn, just LinkedIn, though. yeah. Oh, of course. Yeah. yeah. It could be. Which is probably quite high for LinkedIn. Yeah. That's is quite that? Yeah, I thought but, that I will. It sounded quite it low is. for me. Maybe it should be. Maybe we should all just apply for it. That's what I mean, if we can get one of us on the inside, though. <laughs> they are going to get a lot of joke applicants, I think, for this. 
Let's do it. I mean, yeah, I'm annoyed that you keep calling like myself a joke. A joke. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, you're the prime the example of the joke. Yeah. <laughs> the joke. Again, I'm very harsh. I could do big things in that department. <laughs> I've got huge plans. You could. The amount you yeah. mess up here, you could mess so <laughs> much up. <laughs> <over. laughs> yeah, that's it. It's interesting though, because I just saw a lot of you, a lot of Bitcoiners on Twitter talking about doing it, an inside job on it, get it, and then basically just yeah. throw the project off the track. So I think that that's hilarious. It would be quite good. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine? Like I think that. yeah, it has to happen. But I just think it's it feels like a gesture. They've put it out there not as a, bit a serious. Of, yeah, thing it's not a serious mm-hmm. take that for me. Um, it's crazy, and I appreciate. I know like you that like you said government roles. It's not about yeah. the, the salary and stuff like um, that. But for that particular role to come in and help guide and build this whole financial infrastructure for a country, yeah, it just feels a bit insulting. Yeah, but if you do it successfully, you might get a little blue plaque. Somewhere near the Bank of England. I mean, there's fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. There's other things in the, you know, money in your pocket. That's true. That's true. Mm. Claim all your expenses back for everything. No, their their expenses regulations for the civil servants are extremely tight. You, they do. Really, you, yeah. you can't get anything through. Yeah. So, yeah, so anyway. what's the benefits of this job? <laughs> Just get away from you. I think. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be it. Cool. Blockstream. Moving on. I don't know much about what they get. A big old. Investment. Mm. Uh, what for to expand mining operations? Yeah. It? Who inv- who invested? Uh, Kingsway led the round um, with uh, a couple of others um, in there as well. Um, but it's yeah, a big raise for a bear market, isn't it? One hundred twenty-five million dollars. Yeah, which is good to kick the year off a little bit, which is quite nice for them. Mm-hmm. Um, expanding the Bitcoin mining operations, which I think yeah they seem to be doing very yeah we like well Blockstream with. right yeah. Oh, yeah I love Blockstream yeah. 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 I mean, you want to see them get some money and keep driving. Yeah, we, it's we, all good. Yeah, they don't seem to care about making money. <laughs> <laughs> eventually, that'll be painful. For yeah, you will have to eventually. Yeah. <laughs> but no, the bot stream. I'm not, I think all the, I'm not seeing the books. I'm sure they make revenue, right? Like, I don't know how how, how big's uh, burn rate. I think now with the mining operation, the mining side must be the big side. Right, will yeah. be decent. Yeah, which is why there's this money's for expanding that side mm-hmm. um and they just like host the miners they're not mining they're not building they're not building miners no they're, they're building like the infrastructure the, the warehouse effectively mm. to drop the miners in so you know like my, they my, then my solar look, farm yeah like exactly like your shed with the solar panel on is pretty much what right. they've got I and your car back so where, do, so where do i get king's way number <laughs> there's, four there's a <laughs> warehouse <laughs> yeah. maybe i'm like hydro electricity. Quid, mate. Yeah. <laughs> hydroelectricity from a massive dam so and a, a tesla got, powered I, battery i literally don't see any difference between what they're doing and what i'm doing on my own at my home i just don't need 125 no. million you just have a single solar panel on a yeah. shed with a car battery and a bit of drive <laughs> <laughs> so it's similar you could probably get 125 pence. I cannot wait. <laughs> when my solar farm is, is running sweet, to sh- I'm going to send you videos every day. Okay. I look forward to them. I Gosh. actually, I can't wait to get By you. By the way, I need your help on something for that. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> All of it. Off pod. <laughs> Off pod. Sometimes my technical abilities are, are found wanting. <laughs> Restricted. Yeah, but I've got Zach. Um, but no, it's good from Blockstream. I think, yeah, I like Blockstream. Yeah, yeah. it's cool. Yeah. Adam and he's great. Well, I think all the other guys we've met from Blockstream are all pretty good guys, aren't they? They've been where do you meet? I've never met anyone from, guys. from Blockstream. Uh, there's like quite a few it. advancing Bitcoin, wasn't there? Uh, mm-hmm. Last year, Miami, few. Uh, some of these, just mainly the conferences. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. The ones that you don't really go to. No. I might go to advancing Bitcoin one time. That seems like the boy. That's in like five weeks. Yeah, not this not this time. Oh. Next Maybe year. next year. Come yeah. with us? No. Okay. Just on my own. Just try and enjoy it. You know what I mean. You could come just I, as a like a. So you don't want to go. Just as, I want to absorb it. On just like yeah. yeah. Just go and observe. You don't. You don't want the plebs to be like, oh my god, it's Dave from Coin Corner. Mm. I can guarantee that absolutely would not happen. <laughs> <laughs> it would have at Edinburgh. No, I think it would. No, have. no, no. Let's not get. There's a lot of let's big not get ahead of ourselves of, of the pod. No, there I'm, isn't. I am surprised. Yeah. No, move on. <laughs> move on. Moving on. Uh, what do you mean you're surprised, by the way? That was a dig, wasn't it? <laughs> that was a dig. Which I'm really surprised at, because yeah, you're an idiot. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I am. You, you're grumpy. Yeah. You complain. Yeah. I mean, no one I mean, that sounds like every Bitcoin influencer ever. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. But yeah, yeah. yeah. grumpy and complain are just honest. Yeah. That's There's a bit of this cover all by honest. Right. So moving on, yeah. talking to Tesla and the batteries. Yeah. Tesla didn't sell any Bitcoin in Q4. 
2022. Good. Uh, yeah. Bad. So that, that, like, didn't if, sell. If, they didn't buy any though. No. But if you're talking about what Michael Saylor did, you know, in his Q4, mm. it were two. Um, this was the to re- yeah to reduce his tax yeah. burn to basically crystallize that loss. Tesla didn't need to do that. Now I've not looked at Tesla's books, but I presume they're making a big old. Bu- they're making a lot of profit. They don't make any profit. And they make a lot of revenue. So they so they're, there's, are they already they're on maxed the out their um, loss that they can crystallize, or is it no point using it now? Uh, okay, yeah. I have no you idea. Can it, yeah, you can yeah, probably yeah, probably sure use check. it in future years. Mm. I don't know. I've not looked at Tesla books. I don't know how they're doing. That's but maybe they're just like, all right, we've we've we haven't got this. They're not doing well. Tax this t- over tax liability to reduce mm. because we're already making a big loss. So maybe we'll just keep the Bitcoin. Yeah. So you'll definitely be on there. Are you going to look to at their accounts now? Sailor did. <laughs> Live, on the quick. <laughs> Live on the podcast. Let's look at a. So, would you describe them as a non-Bitcoin company? Revenue. 74 billion is that grown from what was last year that'll be sales uh, are they still making a lot from those you remember they used to sell those credits yeah the carbon uh, credits. so they used to get given a carbon credit for each the vehicle and then yeah. other, sell them to other Probably. car manufacturers yeah. for for a less amount than yeah i think that's pretty much how they got away with it to be honest um, i mean they don't, what do you mean getting away with it? it's just sensible it's how they survived that's how they survived oh. isn't it right um, they don't, but they don't, i'm presuming they don't need to do that anymore mm, uh, i thought they were profitable enough yeah, they've got mm. slight. Oh, Danny's been proved wrong net, live on the podcast. Oh, net income. They're not exactly doing great, are they? It depends again. Like it depends what you mean by great. Bias, Danny. I don't you like Tesla. You can't, can't really, really look at revenue as a singular, you know, KPI. What the the impact on their planet? You can read out. <laughs> okay. But yeah, without a comparable, you've only got one year here. No, that's year. That's year on year on year. That's I can only see the year. graphs. The graphs. All right. Oh, sorry. Okay. I was looking at the bottom thing. So, yeah, so total revenue is nearly doubled from last year, from 2020 to 2021. And they've gone from 30 billion to near but just under 60 billion. They just recently reduced the car, one of their car prices, didn't they? Everyone kicked off that. And net incomes, um, net incomes grown massively. Uh, net incomes uh, so after the cost of sales and bits and pieces growing in some respects, but um, yeah. Come on. They're not. You're looking at that. How are you, I don't know how you're going to gleam. Well, that looks nice to me. The market is saying otherwise, isn't it? The share. Well, yeah, the share yeah but that could just be literally be. Oh, it's not as good as we thought it might be. Oh, they had. Yeah. They well, they're, they're not a scratch on like Ford and stuff. Are they? I think that's the difference. The the value market cap is obviously massive in comparison to Ford and the likes, but their yeah, revenues true. and sales are tiny. Yeah. Um. So yeah, they still they're still well overpriced in my head. Okay. Um. Not financial advice. It sounded like financial advice. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Um, but it, no. is there something else underlying that why you wouldn't like Tesla? I mean, uh, Tesla for me is it a PR thing? Do you Elon, think they're going too? They look like they're green when they're not actually that. Elon green? annoys the hell out of me, um, and has done for yeah, a long I'm sure time. You annoy the hell out of a lot of our, our customers too. I'm not a customer of Tesla. <laughs> I would never be. No, I'm not going to customers. Uh, we're all, are we all sorry? Are we all turning on Danny? <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is the revolution. Uh, so if, if we are, let's just, just sign up now. <laughs> Happy to go in on that. <laughs> um, but yeah, Elon annoys me. I think in a lot of ways, and obviously he's he's dented our industry worse than yeah, actually. than we ever wanted from anyone. So for me, that Tesla holding again is still a pain in the ass. For I completely part. forgot about that. To be but fair, I was just isolated to customers. Tesla, but Elon, yeah, Elon Musk, and then I, he, I him, him not oh. accepting Bitcoin because it's the ESG, which was a load of and rubbish. Just, yeah, coming from a guy oh, who's yeah. got a company at the minute, Tesla, actually. which has <laughs> their batteries made <laughs> from uh, lithium mining, and yeah. the lithium mining is also not um, not great for the the world. Uh, all of that side of it, the renewable batteries and renewable, it was renewable bike company that we lost yeah. at the time was one of the ones, one of the many we lost at the time um, due to yeah, the ESG. Awesome sort of pizza thing as well. With the pizza like... one was a different, slightly different one, but yeah. Um, but the, it, straight after Elon, we had one, they'd just come on board, hadn't they? They'd just gone live and then they pulled the plug um, yeah. because Elon come out saying that he's going to stop accepting Bitcoin for Tesla until the ESG, until Bitcoin mining renewable is above 50% was mm-hmm. it? Yeah. Which it is. Yeah. And he's just ignoring it now. Yeah. Um, he's distracted with other things. Uh, and then that might, that um, bike company, we got Ollie at the time, I think, to look into that and see how bad for the environment 
uh, e e-bikes were right, yeah. um, because they have the lithium battery piece in it as well and how they're made and everything and the factories and how much it's a, ESG it's a niche, niche enemy to pick how up much carbon, <laughs> how much carbon dioxide are is emitted from making one of them e-bikes in comparison to Bitcoin and it was way worse and we actually sent the report I think of what we did back to that right. ESG uh, back to the e-bike company they ignore you they ignored us yeah. <laughs> Um, but the point is, that's how it was yeah. fake. It was fake news come from Elon. Not fake news. It was um, uneducated news where he has such an influence over the, the world yeah. and people, and he doesn't care, and he he just reacts however the hell he feels on that day. I completely forgot about it. I do completely agree with you. Unfortunately, and, it also the do do Doge pump, you yeah, know, and him just mentioning yeah. it and like. That pumped yeah, again was messing with think, people's life savings, really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The little pump and dump. It's messing with people's lives like, oh, for years, and people just ignore that. Yeah, they forget it quickly. And I think the at the minute he's trying to get Twitter now to go for uh, payments, payments license yeah. and stuff. He's basically bought Twitter to become PayPal again because yeah. PayPal didn't do what he wanted it to become. Bitcoin does, and what? he kind of jumped on that briefly. But now he's realised, oh, we've got an opportunity with Twitter, what? so we're going to destroy the, that at the same time. The app in China that he could sometimes references as like a, a we we yeah, we do pay. But it's like a Twitter with payments, isn't it? Um, yeah, and he always thinks that's a good business. That's what he's trying to do mm -hmm. with Twitter now. Yeah. But you'd, he's basically trying to create what he envisioned years ago with PayPal yeah. again in my head, and instead of just opting in to use Bitcoin because he can't make money on Bitcoin unless he just buys a lot, obviously. But you can't. Um, it's open, but you whereas have to, Twitter's like, not going to be. Putting that aside, because I do agree with you, you have to admit landing two rockets mm. on a, a platforms in the middle of the ocean yep. on a on a drone-controlled barge, mm -hmm. that's cool. Yeah. I mean, that's that just cool. pretty cool. Yeah. So you've... Mm, there's, I agree. I'm all yeah. in. Elon. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's cool, pretty cool. Though. It is cool. There's, there's people that all. There's no. There's. It's one of the things with like a sliding scale, isn't it? With people where there's always going to be an absolute idiot like Elon. For me, will do good stuff. He's going to do good stuff in the world, but he's also doing a lot of bad stuff. It doesn't make him right or wrong in any direction. It's just a blur. Okay. A big mm -hmm. blur. Yeah. Let's move on from Elon. Yeah. He wasn't even meant to be topic here. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> mm. That's spicy in here. Mm. Abuse Elon. Ordinal. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Might right, as well you, just you, mute you... my mic because I know nothing about this. <laughs> Neither does Dave. You know, I'm <laughs> laughing you yesterday. You watched that man. video. All right. Yeah, I couldn't get the excitement because you sent something around in the chat about ordinals. And I, I don't was know like, what the hell's gone on at all. So, uh, in brief, an ordinal is a serial number for a SAT, essentially. Mm, yeah. Yeah? So, it can uniquely identify a SAT. One single SAT. And then the paper I read was saying that because, like, in... And this... I've, I've, this is... I know it's a bit high level, but in the UK, if you go issue a new bank note, they have bank reference numbers unique to that note, and then they become collectible if they've, like, 555, or it's the first one from a new batch from that note, and people say that they're worth more and auction, auction them for a bit more money. They have a rarity or scarcity value, and that's kind of what my first look at ordinals was, mm -hmm. that it gave some uh, cool numbers to a set, and then you could, like, try and try and collect them, right? Is that... That's what it was when I first, and I was like, "Why are yeah. you getting excited about that?" <laughs> that He's was an avid Pokemon card collector. Of that's what I thought. That's a good point. That's actually. kind of what I thought. Yeah. I've never been a collectible guy. I've never collected anything, and I just thought, "Okay, he wants a but, sat from this, some early blocks yeah. or something." I mean, it'd be cool to have a sat from Satoshi. Um, I mean, that would be yeah. quite cool. Uh, but yeah, but you can track that. That's just a way. The way what's happened with the ordinal thing is he this guy's just came up with a way to track it. There's no code changes, there's no, no. anything different. He's just come up with a way to track it, like you said yeah. there, with the serial number per sat and starting on first in, first out. So number one sat coming in circulation is yeah. is number one and serial number two, three, four, so on. So you can then always track and it's first in, first out, every transaction that goes throughout the network as a transaction goes from me to you to Zach. I send you a hundred sats, you send fifty to Zach. The first, basically the 50 going yeah. then to, to Zach would be the first ones into you, which actually might not have been my 100, it might have been Molly's 50. So yeah. actually, you've actually passed Molly's 50 onto Zach, yeah. and not mine, and you still got my 100. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's first in, first out. So, rule. Okay, so early ones can get passed around. Like uh, if you've got an early sat, obviously it's first into you and it'd be first out. So yeah. the early ones would get circulated 
uh, as in they early would block ones. theoretically keep going round, yeah, mm -hmm. depending on if they've landed in a wallet that's empty or just yeah, got yeah. a load in. So okay. a pooled wallet and exchange, there's going to be lots of rare ones, as they call them, or yeah. lots of um, common ones. Uh, but that's, I guess, not the, the... That's just a theory at the minute of, yeah. and whether people will care about them sats. But what has been advanced on that has been the um, NFTs and tagging NFTs, and that's what the controversy was over the weekend. Right. And me and Zach talking about this, we're still not sure where this has cropped up from because this is, Ordinals mm. have been around since about this time last year when mm. he, this guy, is, is he Casey? Casey, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, kind of came out with this theory, um, but now all of a sudden it's just everyone's jumped on it and it's mm. like, what's going on? NFTs and basically you can do NFTs on the blockchain, um, actually storing it, he's calling it inscript inscriptions. Does um, it not bloat the blockchain? Yes, that's what the controversy is all about. Yeah, because oh. everyone had an issue with, with putting messages on the blockchain. So I imagine yeah. if you so the do minting NFTs on the blockchain, that's going to be yeah. so even the, more controversial. But then, the, so there's then the meme, I don't know if you saw the meme going around, uh, I can't remember his name now that did that, but they, it was like every, the altcoin crowd were attacking Bitcoin, saying there's going to be problems in the future when the... Um, mining reward disappears. There's no fee market to maintain and secure Bitcoin. And then this was kind of like, well, actually, we've just accidentally solved that problem by having this ordinal theory and it's actually already there. And people then throw NFTs and things in it. Um, so there's lots of people throwing out all different theories and things at the minute. But the general take is at the minute, yes, you can use this to now track you tag a, a JPEG and add that to the block. And you actually add it into the witness data on a transaction sorry, to a sat almost. Um, and that sat will then always be assigned with that image, actually as an inscription, as they called it, actually in the blockchain, so in the data, it's in like text, but you can then pass that text into an actual JPEG and image and view it. So you can't theoretically delete that then. A lot of the NFTs on Ethereum, or pretty much all of the NFTs on Ethereum and all that side of things, they were all stored, they stored some text, but it was just a reference to a... Uh, IF, uh, I was getting the initials of that wrong, IFPS, I, IPFS, whatever mm. it is. Yeah. Um, server, which then, as we've seen, has then disappeared. They've been shut down and disappeared, which means you've lost your NFT. And that's where we saw a lot of the joking uh, memes around that as well. Um, so with this way, then you can't lose it. Mm. And if you use the ordinal theory and everyone agrees that and everyone's using that, then it's easy to track that one sat and you can pass that one sat round, which has a JPEG attached to it in theory. And there's no code changes required for any of this. That's the simplicity of this is probably the thing that everyone's going to, yeah, that's quite interesting because it's so simple. I mean, yeah, that's what confused me initially of like, why are people talking about this? You can already do this kind of thing. Like the, the Bitcoin white papers on the blockchain. Yeah, yeah. It's like, but it was never it, tied to a sat, was it? But theoretically, now it kind no, of is. It can be. Theory, yeah, yeah. Just people say it is, then it is, kind of thing. Yeah, people yeah. hadn't pieced that together. That yeah. actually, that one, that sat for that block, the white paper on the blockchain, them sats in that range will be worth quite a bit now, probably as mm. in terms of rare collectors. They will go and try and. Grab Do you that. think there'll be a secondary market? So like we a... have our Elon tweet, don't we? That mm. You guys did the Elon tweet, was it that we added? Um, oh, yeah. So you could some, see the, it, the that, inevitable or yeah. something like that. Yeah, the sat range for that, because mm -hmm. like Elon liked that himself and got involved. So that was like, that would potentially be a collectible thing now for the sats that were in that transaction to mint that yeah. that message. Do you think it, do you think there's, like, does that alter the fungibility of sats if if you think that somehow rarer sats have a different value than a normal mm -hmm. sat? If people are going to pay more for them. There's already people out there putting bounties out for these sat ranges, a sat from this range, because that's what they're after. And you can go and see which wallets have them and control them. Oh, okay. But you wouldn't know who that wallet is or who the wallet owner is. Is it worth, like, trolling through the sats we have might have some rare ones <laughs> well, you, that's what means that we're talking about could you just we just have to run the um for what this case is definitions of rare sats are like the yeah. first the first sat in uh, after a halving the first sat yeah. after a new blocks mined and he's put like different categories for what they all are um so yeah we could go and mm. run that same algorithm effectively against yeah. our wallets and you could then see if any of our sats we have in our wallets are them numbers basically 
um, and see if they are. Because that's what people, it was like the joking around bit of you'll go to Coinbase and just keep sending out a Coinbase trying to grab, what, see what yeah. sats they send out to you and then see if you can then work <laughs> but out. But you could do rare. that in the bank now with coinage. I could go to yeah. Adelman mm-hmm. Bank and get a roll of 50Ps and there, some of them will be rare do and have an aftermarket. Yeah. I imagine they would, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So which is you get the, the I do. think there's Beatrix pot of ones over in the mm-hmm. Alaman only specifically to the Alaman the 50Ps are worth more, mm. you know, a couple of quid. Yeah. But only to the right person. Yeah. In circulation. You can see, I can go to the petrol station and try and yeah. buy some <laughs> more. Yeah. 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 That's, that's a rare one. Yeah. They'd be like, yeah. sod off. <laughs> yeah. So um, for the right market, maybe. But it's so weird. I think that was, it was interesting just because it's something that felt so simple that people have created such complex systems on Ethereum and everything else where now you can, you've always, like Zach says, you've always been able to drop things on the blockchain yeah. and data on it. But mm. this is then a way to track that and then prove the ownership using it's that kind of, as long as everyone it's, agrees it's, that theory it's almost it's, a, it's like almost easier to understand a sat with a serial number isn't i think it? that's why it, there's yeah, a kind of blew up, up of like yeah, yeah. I mean, it's simple. Even I understand solutions it, so yeah. That's like whereas yeah the, the other level. solutions are like we were talking this morning like the colored coins or drive chains which is all like side chain complex stuff yeah, yeah. and where things could go wrong things could break yeah. this has literally no code changes no. but the the downside obviously is it's that mempool. It's it's mempool and blow in the blockchain so, which will increase fees, which, you know, you want Bitcoin to focus, or we want Bitcoin, for example, to yeah. focus on uh, finance and yeah. being money, Payments. not being a platform for JPEGs. Yeah. Um, I think, though, the the there is a lot of core devs, I think, have come out with some of the last couple of days saying, like, you know, yes, it's not, you're not going to block it because that's, you know, part of Bitcoin, it's uncensorable. You can do what you want mm-hmm. and people will come along and do that and throw a JPEG in and you can't mm-hmm. stop that because that's yeah. if you can stop that, then it's not no longer Bitcoin. It's not decentralized. Um, so you need to let that happen and you let mm-hmm. the market kind of dictate and move that way. I'm not too worried or bothered. Like we've been through an NFT cycle, which is the same cycle we saw with altcoins back in 2013 times. Same cycle we saw with blockchain, distributed ledger, uh, DeFi, ICOs, everything else. Like, you know, how many ICOs do you see these days going around? And there's not many in comparison to like 2017, 18. There was, there was literally hundreds of every week going out. Um, so that has died, the hype's died down. So the NFT hype for me has died down. People have realized there's not really much of a use case for NFTs. Yeah. Even the games world and stuff like that, where you think they might have come useful, mm-hmm. they're not really taking off in a real world use case scenario, apart from there were hypes and pump and dumps and yeah. everyone wanted to jump on them because everyone was buying them. Nobody knew why they were buying them, but they were buying them because the, the next door neighbor was buying them. Yeah. There's now that hypes disappeared. Uh, me and Zach looked this morning on OpenSea um, and OpenSea are the big NFT marketplace. Well, like nothing the selling. They've, well, <clears throat> their chart, just look at their chart of the volumes. It's gone from like nothing to spike for about 10 yeah. months of spikes like really really high and then down to like back to nothing again. the pr in the nft market is like fundamentally flipped it's now like it used to be view, almost viewed as like oh this could change yeah, the world yeah, but yeah. now it's just like oh, you're a bit of a loser yeah. doing that you're yeah. buying a monkey jpeg that's yeah. worthless really and yeah. people have lost mm-hmm. money so much money on it and um that so for me that is then people are not going to pay for the block space on bitcoin no. if it's you're minting a worthless jpeg yeah. monkey there's going to be initially i'm sure i saw already the rocks going around i think people are minting the rock images which were the original ones on ethereum i think so they're just doing that i, as a, I as had a, a thought in terms of like have you ever looked at fractals in terms of like a, a, a number and in a basically an algorithmic image made by a number so each oh, okay. sat could actually have yeah, just from that sat number generate its own fractal mm. image and that'd be quite a cool thing to be. So yeah, I think the that case he's got the thing about the naming convention as well. So each sat can be named because you can oh, so you associate. Might have a cool name in there. Yeah. So there's I think he said one at the end of this year is going to be Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z. So it'll be like Z oh. like you're asleep. So it'd be, God, that might be worth two sats. So people are excited <laughs> about that one. Yeah. Um, yeah. I just so, think I think this is a bit niche and the most, yeah, I most I of agree. fundamentals is just like oh. it is niche. The one thing so the one thing like that nerds being nerds like. Yeah, but that's what then people are worried though, aren't they? It's, it becomes, if there is a crowd that wants to chuck NFTs on there, mm. they're going to have to pay for it and pay for the block space, which, you know, we'll have to see how the market plays out for that. And yeah. I'm not worried. I think the next, I think the next hype around this might be coins on it. So like, that's well, what it's come to, yeah. And then they'll be like pump and dump. So then that will affect the underlying mempool of Bitcoin. Similar to how we saw with the Ethereum. Yeah, yeah. So then if you try to use it as a payments network, you are then being influenced by these pump and dump coins that are built on your payment platform, essentially. 
but the market can do what it wants. It's not really but we've up been, to us to decide. Over history, we have been already through the altcoins, been through the DeFi, yeah, yeah, through yeah. the blockchain. Okay, blockchain concepts are still around these days, mm-hmm. but they're nowhere near the level of what they were mm-hmm. back in 2015. And that's why I'm seeing NFTs this time, the next cycle around NFTs, mm-hmm. they might spike up again a little bit, but they're not going to be anywhere near the, the level of interest no. that we saw at that, the initial hype. So I'm not too But I, I can see it out there in a few years of... Um, oh, this coin's better because it's on Bitcoin. And you just get a, sh- a load of altcoins on Bitcoin. Yeah. So yeah, that that's like, what, yeah. we've seen that come and go over with Ethereum, with the tokens all yeah, the time. Yeah, so yeah. as I say, altcoins, blah, 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 eventually tokens. The next cycle, will people have realized tokens are useless and they've gone beyond that and regulators catch up and do certain things like the SEC that we spoke about mm-hmm. earlier on. They will prevent then these tokens being just easily minted and easily created um, in any like... I guess Western world more so with the, the regulations, but that means Coinbase won't be able to list every other coin under the sun and they'll have to go through a, a more strict um, ruling to actually onboard these coins onto the system, at which point they can't get a value, at which point people are not going to bother with mm-hmm. it. So there'll be less and less and less as time goes on. Um, so I'm not really fussed on the block space usage of it because I just don't think there's going to be enough traction to really yeah, bother. Same. <clears throat> um but the the bit that I think I was then interested at, what me and Zach were talking through, can you put stable coins on it? So can you issue a stable coin using the ordinal theory to do that, which you can in theory, um, which is in, in my head at the minute, as some, I need to think into this a little bit more, still not got my head properly into it, but it's a simpler way to issue a stable coin on Bitcoin. Um, it wouldn't cross over into lightning exactly as you'd want without some problems that need to be solved still. Um, so it wouldn't be like a tarot competitor on the lightning aspect, but on chain Bitcoin, putting like tether on it would probably be simple. So one tether equals one sat. And yeah, you know so that. the ordinal allows you to peg some like a stable coin to that sat so permanently. You, the same way you could peg the JPEG to it. Yeah. Um, so you could peg a, a dollar to a sat. Yeah. Tether could say, right, here's our... Here's Tether's Bitcoin address. We're going to mint. Here's this transaction that sends one sat to lots of different addresses, effectively lots of different transactions, and each one of them is is pegged with um, effectively saying, yeah, that's in, that individual sat with that serial number is worth one dollar. You can bring that back to Tether and redeem it for a dollar at any time. And if everyone uses that ordinal theory throughout yeah. um, the ecosystem, then obviously you'd be able to always bring that back mm-hmm. through the wallets and bring it back to Tether and redeem it. So that one sat would be worth it. It'd probably be better at like one sat is one penny or something. Um, I think that's the but, issue of what you just mentioned was getting everyone to agree is going to be the issue. Um, that it would require probably like someone like Tether to, they basically decide which, if they want to put it on yeah. ordinals, if they want to put it on colored coins, tarot. Because it's right. kind of at the mercy of the stable coin issuer. Um, if they issue, if Tether issued a chunk using this ordinal theory onto Bitcoin, then wallets and exchanges like ourselves, we'd have to then say, okay, do we want to just mm-hmm. tag that theory into our system? It wouldn't be much to do, to be quite honest, um, for us to do. It'd be yeah. fairly straightforward. Um, and it means there's no code changes to Bitcoin. There's no extra demons to run. There's there's nothing really difficult to do around it. So that from a base layer, it's actually quite advantageous because there's no changes. I can't get my head into like how does the Bitcoin price movement, the price per sat, and uh, it being pegged to a stable coin work in terms of if you've got one sat equals one dollar, say for simplicity, or whatever it is, and that Bitcoin price moves and you're floating that in and out. Is there any? Yeah, no, you, so you, I don't think you do one sat one dollar. You do like that one dollar would stay just like Ethereum tokens now. Oh, okay. Um, that one dollar would stay as one dollar. So there been no, it's you're just using the functionality and yeah. it you can the it doesn't matter about the yeah. price volatility of the underlying yeah the value of the stable coin wouldn't change right mm. but yeah, the but the uh, but the sat it's pegged to could yeah you yeah that's the issue with the theory but at the moment when you but the, yeah. the, the at the minute the the sat value is like fractions of fractions mm. and fractions yeah. and fractions yeah. of a penny so it would be. If you did a dollar, obviously, you probably mm-hmm. never, you'd need the Bitcoin price to be a, yeah, true, a, a ridiculous amount for it to be pegged. Yeah, and then to, to move that, you would have yeah. to yeah, yeah okay. spend that set. Yeah. But then Tether could then say, right, we're not, we've, we've void all them ones now. I'm going to reissue the new ones at this value and these ones. So, so you, mm-hmm. theoretically, 
it's it's possible. I've not thought it through to understand yeah. all the, mm. the pros and cons on it at the minute. Um, but it's such a simple way to do it. Mm. And um, so basically, ordinals open up a, a world of pegging, right? They don't open it up. That world's already been there. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> You're tired. You're going to bring it back. I don't react to that. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. Yeah, I don't wow. think it opens it up because it's always been there. Okay. It's just a more. It's just maybe an easy way to do it. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. It's a it's a it's a structured way. I think, like Zach says, it's always been there and the options, but it's just, yeah. it's kind of like a a logical structured way that every, if everyone agrees to actually bringing that into wallets and functionality is yeah. probably quite easy. But I don't know if it'll it'll really play out in that way. Mm. Um, it might just be a passing fad. Um, cool. Yeah. Kind of want to see if I got any rare ones. <laughs> Get the the uh, reference code is in Python. So. Oh, is it? Yeah. Run that against your node. <laughs> okay. You know Python yeah, yeah. now, don't you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I'm, I'm not an expert. Okay. <laughs> so you just run a bit of a wallet, yeah. download his little bit of uh, software, you can run that then, and it will just run it against your Bitcoin wallet, and it will then work out what things you've got from it. What Have you done that yet? Are you not no. slightly intrigued? I started playing yeah. around with it last night, but I didn't get any further than uh, <laughs> a syncing up my node at the minute, oh, okay. <laughs> the machine at home. Um, I'm still a little bit behind. I might have a look at that. But yeah, it's like it's, a nice project, doesn't it? It's quite. I was playing around with it last mm -hmm. night, so I just thought I'll have a little poke around and yeah. just see how it works and see what happens with the algorithm and see what sats you've got. Mm -hmm. um, but it is. I think there's there's so many angles to it at the minute of what that potentially opens up. It just depends if anyone cares and anyone drives yeah. it. Um, and I think for the NFT, just you monkey JPEGs. I, I think we're past people giving a, a crap about. Do you not? Know, so. Do you not know, think it's weird that this has always been there, right? From white paper onwards in yeah. terms of possibilities and like mm. it's all these years later just clicked we're kind of dis like mm. discovering oh no you can yeah, do yeah but this. it's not though is it like you're not thinking since the beginning I think people were storing data uh, in the op return which is essentially yeah. the same thing mm. but new ways of thinking about yeah, something yeah, yeah, the yeah. ordinal theory on on bitcoin yeah. is kind of yeah something like that 10 years 11 12 how many years we are now um later to bitcoin being released and people are finally talking yeah. about it it's like oh yeah you could do that so yeah there's probably more things like that we've just not really thought mm. about and how you can do it um but yeah tagging that in means chucking it on the blockchain is viable from a you can track it per sap to the jpeg but is it viable for a block space usage um which i think is the the massive negative of it you don't want it to I don't want JPEGs on there. I want to focus on on money, but I'm not, never going to stop people putting JPEGs on, and no. never would want to because it breaks them. But Bitcoin. Mm, yeah. Well, the, the argument which I found interesting against like should you stop it? Should you just let it decide? Is you don't want to stop it, but you need to make sure you have a robust protocol that it can't just by blowing it doesn't Abuse. just destroy it essentially. So you need some kind of limits in there, but which not, is what the megabyte limit is yeah. all about, and yeah. well, what's theoretical for? So it's that fine balance of you don't want to stop people doing what they want, but do you, <clears> in order for it to survive, you have to have a robust protocol. Is there not like some argument to say, but by the year twenty one forty, you'd want a bloated chain that miners would it be full? Like if there's no new that's that's what i was saying about before that this yeah, is, people the... were joking around saying that because there's no mining rewards yeah. at that mm. point yeah then you're just relying on the fees and if there's mm. no fee market yeah. then the miners are not going to mine and they're going to come off the network and there's yeah. going to be no miners mm. no security to the network yeah so that's why people were joking around saying oh we just accidentally fixed that even though we didn't realize mm. by just oh, using yeah. the, ordinal thing. Yeah. the miners yeah. would want it full but if you're using it as a payment Protocol, you want it empty to be cheap. You, don't, you want it empty to be cheap, and it so it confirms in but, but, ten what minutes. About the, but lightning, like, yeah, lightning helps with it. But then obviously lightning, you, you have, have to, to open eventually close channels, chain it. yeah, which is then the cost. So there's a balance yeah, in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe there's yeah, yeah. It's a fine balance in that, and that's what the, yeah, yeah. the hard part over the next sort of decade or two is going to be yeah. keeping that maintained and making mm -hmm. sure that it doesn't bloat so it's so expensive, uh, but actually it still maintains a fee market. Mm -hmm. Quantum, we're at the biggest, highest hash rate ever again already mm -hmm. at the minute for Bitcoin mining. So clearly, even at the Bitcoin price at the minute and the mm -hmm. lack of fees on the network, yeah. miners don't care. They're jumping in and mining more. So, mm -hmm. um, you yeah, know, that's I think the, um, it's the the altcoin crowd throwing yeah. shade at Bitcoin more than I was being worried about it. I think. Mm. I think I have some PTSD from the 2017 
it was taking two weeks for a Bitcoin transaction to confirm because <laughs> the mempool was full. Yeah. yeah. We're paying $10 plus yeah. a, a transaction at least at minimum um, in them times. Now yeah. it's so, like... It's so you guys are, are so worried about no, a bloke. We, we didn't have lightning or anything. So imagine yeah. you're paying for something so on never, chain. Yeah, you'd yeah, have to wait two weeks yeah. before. I mean, that's a long time to wait in a shop, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. 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 You have to get the sleeping bag And you have to pay about 10 quid for the fee. Yeah. It wasn't... It was a nightmare. It was a nightmare handling it. Our nodes were... Uh, crashing quite a few times, our wallets were going down because they were the the mem the the cash mm -hmm. uh, the transactions and the, their memory were just basically overloaded um, with transactions coming in. And then we actually had to think some scenarios where transactions dropped out of it quite a few times mm -hmm. as well. Um, so yeah, it was it was a pain in the ass that. Um, but with Lightning, yeah, I think you can look back at the mempool. Uh, backlog in comparison over the years and you can see like 2017 yeah. 18 was, was yeah. nuts and then we're down so low now mm -hmm. so even if blocks were filled now there's mm -hmm. there's no backlog there even if the nfts start coming in does it mm -hmm. increase it slightly it's got a long way a long long oh, way yeah. to hit 2017 again but because we have i think obviously with the segwit improvement with we've got taproot now there's some further improvements mm -hmm. but then we've got lightning and lightning is taking a lot of transactions mm -hmm. off chain which we know yeah. Have you not got them stats? Have you? In front I was. Of you? I wasn't gonna. <laughs> that was such a good segue <laughs> into some, some fancy good. stats. Wow. Stats that you're okay. about to. Put well, out yeah, just on that. Well, yeah. But even on chain, is processes more today daily than it was back then in yeah. 2017. Yeah. 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 Batching was a massive difference. Yeah. So a yeah. lot of people didn't batch. A lot of big exchanges didn't batch. So maybe you guys just need to chill out about bloating. You know what I mean? Maybe it's because you're 17. It's... We were around there, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Let's blow away. Blow away. Yeah. Yeah. that's the pro that's part of the problem. People have not been you through that want, and you had don't that want experience. Like me and saying that. Understand it, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, don't, yeah. and don't necessarily understand yeah. okay. all the, the mechanics of how it all works. Yeah. That they People then like you, Dave. are just thinking, well, yeah, why don't you have bigger blocks? It makes yeah. more sense. You get more tracks and transactions yeah. in it. We're cheaper. Yeah. We're quicker. But that's you know that's, that's the altcoin yeah, yeah. mentality that you go down, mm -hmm. and Bitcoin Cash, BSV, and everything else around it. Um, unfortunately, that's just not realistic. It's not the way it, it should work, um, in my opinion. And okay. Having the experience of going through that over the years. Do you want my stat? stats? Yeah, it was with the stat. Ordinals, you were right. Mm. There's a lot there, isn't there? There's, there's a lot there's there. A lot yeah. there. Yeah. It's, it's definitely opening up some uh, people, or opening up people's eyes to mm -hmm. different mm -hmm. concepts and ideas. Sorry, go on. Right. It's only just because of the lightning now. So you've thrown the agenda out. I have, yeah. Okay. Right, stats. January stats from Coin Corner, which I I'm going to include in the monthly best bits. But we thought we'd bring them onto the podcast. Yeah, they're kind you of. You hammer it. I literally gave me. She gave me like an afternoon to get. So no, give me some stats. I, I need said to Dave, can you get me some give good me some stats? stats? You said, yeah, I'll have them with you by three. Three came and went. That was your the weekend. Issue, I never came said. and went. Did I say I'd get Monday. you three? Yeah. And then I bailed Not you out. Not by three. I'll get you three. Both. Three get you three by three. three. By three. Yeah. I wouldn't have said by. I'm not the sort of guy that gives myself a hard deadline. Right, I will find you that email. I'll get you three by three. Yeah. And I gave I gave you two, and the next and day then I never heard anything. Me. Where is my extra step? No, no, the, next day, the next day was Monday, Dave. I'd waited all weekend. I had to bail you out and get a stat for you. Yeah. Right. Okay. So. Which is probably the stat I'm more bothered about. Which one? The one I gave you. Of course, you bothered about. I'm going to read all three. But your stat be better than my two stats, right? Because it's relevant. It was relevant about. Yeah. Remember, we're getting in. Remember, remember. Stat number one. 44% of Bitcoin sends were sent via the Lightning Network. Oh, that was yeah. a great stat. Yeah. Wow, that's Coin seen some business. real growth. Great stat. That's good. That's relevant to what we're talking about. Yeah. 85% mm -hmm. of orders via the payment gateway were paid via Lightning. That was the main one. There she is. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. the big one. So with 85% of our transactions in January were over Lightning, mm -hmm. which is... I think it was surprising to us as well. Yeah, it, it was, was very yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah. That shows on chain is being, for, especially for paying for goods and services, on chain mm -hmm. is moving away and it's coming onto Lightning there. Um, yeah, which cool. is good. Right. And my third and final stat was 90% of Bitcoin trades at Coin Corner were people buying Bitcoin. Yeah. Classic. Classic. Bullish customers. Classic bullish. We're always at that figure, aren't we? We're always. We've uh, just got a, a customer base of very bullish people. It's yeah. Great. I think even during the bear, proper like bear, bear periods that we've had, it was maybe down at. Like seventies, maybe. Yeah, no, yeah mm. I, I can't remember ever seeing it flip. No. Mm. Yeah. yeah. It is always the the amount of people buying are always more buying than selling. Keep yeah. it up. Cool. Keep it up, guys. Nice one. Right. How long have we been going here? You can see that. Fifty nine minutes. Fifty nine oh, minutes. We better cut this. So we talk about our bet the the Bake Off 
cook off. Oh, we better go on to the merchants. Well, we've got a new merchant of the month this year, this week, but tribute to our old merchant of the month who finally sent us some meat. Shipped us some meat. Yeah. We all Mm -hmm. did our bacon. You've all seen my picture of the burger. It looked It was delicious, meaty burger. What was it, right? Tell, tell me because I'm I so hungry right Got the meat. Yeah. Made it round. He's <laughs> 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 skills here. That's God, wild. Put it in, in the oven first. I thought, yeah. just get it a bit. And Did then you put any a, cheese in the middle to melt in the frying pan? No. No, you just should. Put, That's a then, great burger tip. Whilst it was in the frying pan after the oven, put some cheese on top. Toasted a bun. Brioche bun? Uh, no, sesame seed. Mm. Burger. Okay. It was called a mega burger bun. Oh, I've seen that. With some spinach. And it was delightful. Was it? And the meat was really nice. Mm-hmm. So, so we had we got the meat in the nice. office didn't we on we'll Friday. We'll insert a picture of Dave's burger. Yeah, yeah. We got make the it, make it look better than it. We got the meat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 Get a Michelin star <laughs> picture from or sparkly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we got the meat on Friday, didn't we? Um, but it was we had to basically cook it quickly and get it done. Um, but then most of us, I think, forgot to take it home. Mm-hmm. I, I, I'm so, guilty of that. Yeah. yeah, I actually did come in. I was on Saturday and managed to grab it then, and right. then I made mine Saturday night. And Matt also made cottage shepherd, pie. Co- cottage that looked pie. really nice. Mm-hmm. So yeah. that's like that your contribution. Really like Matt used your meat, right? Yeah, I'll tell you that. He did, no, he a, did a lovely there's, cottage pie. There's a, there's a spare <laughs> one, but yeah. Um, and then I made uh, the, the, what the lady that sent us the um, from Red Ruby Kate. Uh, Kate. Kate. Kate, Kate, Kate yeah. from Red Ruby Kate. Red Ruby Kate. Good guess. Uh, <laughs> She sent us across uh, the meat to try with the recipes as well. So right. the hairy bikers pies. So I Delightful. tried them. Nice. So let's like insert Danny's image and then we'll have to just go off looks because we yeah. we all tasted each other. We haven't taste. tasted each of us. No, there's no taste test. But my burgers look really good. I vote for Matt's cottage pie. If I'd had meat, which I wasn't known for. You love reason. a burger, right? I do love a burger, but I would have made spaghetti bolognese. Okay, so uh, who, yeah, who are you voting for? Well, there's... <laughs> <laughs> you can't really vote, for? can you? You've uh, seen the images. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to vote for Matt. It's all on Matt wins. Right, I'm going to burger. It's yeah. a split. Yours came last. <laughs> <laughs> He's happy now. He's happy. Uh, there we go. We can move on. It's right. Good, good, good job. Right. Thank you very new, much for that as well. Yeah. New merch of the month is tea and tonic. So, this Davey, this is what you need. That was a very well timed call. Have they got anything for healthiness? They've got a wellness tea. What so, does that provide? Is it just normal breakfast tea? and tea tonic or? bring a new approach to Ooh. de-stress for brighter skin, body, and mind. So they have um, a range of adaptogen-based products. And the range of luxury teas and skin care includes wellness gifts, which are perfect for the special person in your life. Wow. So the All focus right. is simplify, stress less, and live well. <laughs> and body ale. Um, the boxing is... The boxes they're in are extremely high quality. I they know. are. They I are. do. I love premium. Good packaging. What are you, you know, recycle what that? I think that cycle was solid. That yeah. feels like I honestly do damage with that. Yeah, you could. It's body oil, so yeah. Did you, well, I just what do you do with it? Oh, spray you, it. You put it on your body. <laughs> it's oil day. <laughs> but it's oil, so I wouldn't put it on your body. Molly, have you had a chance to do it? Not right now. Hey, I don't know my work. I'm going to be good for views. Have you managed to read the box yet, Molly? No. Of how to make the perfect cup. Oh, God. Right, does it pop? Oh, like really? Milking first. Yeah. Use one tea bag per cup. <laughs> yeah. Boil freshly drawn water and pour onto tea bag. Infuse for three minutes. Remove tea bag and add a splash of milk. Are you add the milk after you take the tea bag out as well? Yeah. Well, I do that, that one. Wow. No, no, wow. that one says for extra creaminess, infuse directly onto a cup of milk. So well, I'm, just, I'm just, I'm just, just reading. Sorry, is that actually different type? Yeah, but no, this, different is, teas. this is breakfast tea. That's, yeah, that's a different type of tea. Wow. That's milk tea. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna. Oh say yeah, that is a, called a, a milky, a milky, milky, tea. milky wellness tea. Golden that, milk right, wellness guys, tea. So the focus, oh, I said before, I think that you were listening. Body oil. Simplify, stress less, live well. I feel like we need so simplify. Yeah. So. Sarah, that's who's the sim- found- That's not simplifying, making them. <laughs> Sarah, who's the founder, believes that to achieve wellness, balance, and brightness in the skin and self, we need to strengthen our resilience to everyday stress. I'm, I'm, I, think I think always think that my threshold for resilience of everyday stress is through the roof already. Well, clearly Mine not is. if you're this sick. No, that's my body letting me down. I think this yeah. industry, you become numb, don't you? Yeah. However, we were willing to become try numb everything. Numb and burn out. <laughs> numb but, to the stress. Yeah. 
glowing skin though I can get on board with. Well, you said last week that you and Danny <laughs> have, have had the toll yeah. of the bear market, so yeah. you guys need this. Yeah, you said I'm, you've on aged. I'm on board. I'm on board. Say that. I no, was Dave said. Dave, by Dave, I know. He didn't, yeah. he didn't say me and Zach. The audience, have, the audience have eyes, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> so, we get, so maybe we'll get, we'll get on board with this. Get Let's on try board. Some of this tea, right. tea this afternoon. The next few weeks, get the body oil. Do they do any green tea? Possibly. Because I would like to, I used to drink green tea a lot, but I've not had it for a while, but I'll get some green tea. I imagine they probably do. Yeah, I'll take some green tea. Lovely. Right, and you can get 20% off throughout February using code 20 Bitcoin. Oh, oh, we've got a code. We've got a code. What's the code code again? 20 Bitcoin. 20 to 0. Oh, that's in February? Yes, throughout February. So only from tomorrow. Well, yeah, well, this will be out in February. February. Yeah, no, but I'm going to go and order some green tea now. Oh, okay. No, you have nice. to wait till tomorrow. Oh, oh, to be honest, the code probably is already live. In there, we'll give it a go. We'll yeah. try it. Uh, free UK delivery and samples on orders over £25. Lovely. So, Lovely. Yep. Get on it. Yep. Nice. Nice. Thank you. Um, Coin Corner News. Coin Corner None. News. None. We've got one there. Oh, that was not That's really Coin Corner News. It's it? been a quiet month. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Quite a week. I don't think it has. It hasn't. We've been chaotic again. We have, but there's nothing we can like shout about. No. Oh, we did have one. What was it? Oh, Acquisition. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I know. Right, well. That'll go out today, we hope. I hope. <laughs> Do you want to, let's it's, hype it's, it's, a small, it's a small one. It's nothing. And you want to talk about thingy as well, actually, which is a side question, side point. What's that? Uh, public company. Oh, yeah. You yeah. told me I couldn't. <laughs> yeah, no, that's 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 a, can we talk about them we can and you said there's no, nothing to do with us we can talk about them what you want okay um, we can briefly talk about it right. so yeah Bit, I, Bit Island uh, which is a, a small or uh, was a small Irish uh, Bitcoin company exchange so we acquired them um, only a small customer base and small um, users to bring across they've all come across the coin corner um, we'll be announcing that today at some point as well um, but I think it's just okay. the the consolidation um phase i think over these bear markets where yeah acquisitions become a, a thing um well, we're excited so yeah. to welcome them over mm -hmm. hope their experience mm -hmm. is a good one yeah fingers crossed yep hopefully more bitcoin listens yep we actually had one comment weirdly on which is a good segue on the podcast was it saying they've what just come up, they've come over from mode oh yeah. they left mm -hmm. us the trust pilot review the first thing we said was great great podcast and that's a different one Oh, there was, no, a, there was a yeah, comment on, on YouTube channel oh my saying gosh. they've because Mode wow. is genuinely full of nice comments this last yeah. week. I know because Mode is shutting down. They've come over to be a coin corner customer, which yeah. was quite nice. Oh. Which was what Dave wanted to talk, talk to him. Yeah, but now I'm like, what well, do kind of talk about? <laughs> what can I say about it? Did we sign anything? Ooh. No. Uh, yeah, we could talk a little briefly talk about that, could we? So, Mode being yeah, public company in the UK, um, yeah, pub on the London Stock Exchange. Unfortunately, winding up services to their uh, uh, clients, aren't they? Mm -hmm. um, uh, for whatever reason, um, and that's pretty. I don't know what we can say. Don't <laughs> yeah. I? There's not much else to say. Uh, yeah, I think they, they've kept withdrawals open. I think kept withdrawals open. Their, yeah, yeah. customers to withdraw. That's yeah. funds. All part of the bear market. There's lots of wind downs consolidations acquisition opportunities for people mm. um and i think yeah that's part of it even uh they were fca crypto register weren't they they were a public london stock exchange company yeah. uh well funded um it just goes to show i think in in bear periods and times like this it takes no prisoners no, right? one's, no one's immune yeah no mm -hmm. one's immune to it nope. um and regardless of all them regulations and things like that around the company um you know it doesn't necessarily mean that yeah there's it's uh immune i guess to that assist to the bear market and to where we're at today um so yeah we've seen that in the past companies come and go i'd I hope we're slowly i hope we're slowly coming to an end of the the bear market consolidations and it's company been pretty brutal and isn't it yeah layoffs a lot of bloodshed layoffs are still continued at a certain place haven't they but um hopefully coming to the end of that a little bit of sideways movement and then then no. up, up, and, up and on. Okay. God, let's else? try and end this no. podcast on a high, guys. Like, up and onwards. That's what's to the moon. Yeah. Positivity. We've got two shout outs in the Lightning Labs newsletter for Send Globally and our El Salvador coffee payment chain video. Cool. Well, it's nice of them to include us. Mm -hmm. um, Should do another chain video. I mean, how I... many times can you keep doing it until it gets boring? 
anymore. I'm repetitive. Yeah. Really? Mm. Until it stops getting views on Twitter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 Have you seen Twitter? It's like yeah. mainly That's true. that. I do love it. I lap it up. Yeah. Okay, maybe we'll do another one. Right. Mm-hmm. That's it. Cool. 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 Thank you, you guys. You know the big news? No. Okay. Not yet. That's the worst ending. <laughs> 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 I'm trying it? to like hype it up. No, but... go on then. Let's see the hype. January is nearly over. Yay. Okay. Yay, what will we have next year. week? No, no. Payday today. Yay. Yeah, th- Thanks, Thanks Dave. Dave. Is that what Thanks, you want? Dave. Thanks, Dave. I will not thank him. Okay. I'm not, I've probably not been paid. I've not checked, so, you know. Yeah. <laughs> he just pays his favourites. I got paid. Exactly. Yeah. Thanks, Dave. You're welcome. Um, that was a bribe to vote for you on the burger, wasn't it, really? <laughs> it worked. <laughs> <laughs> right, very good. Cool. Cool. Right. right. Thank, thank you, guys. guys. Cheerio. Cheers. Peace.